Good afternoon and welcome to our ongoing Advent Calendar series. Today we're going to be looking at... Uh, where did they go? All right. Let's see. 3D Puzzle 1 first. Yeah, the 3D Puzzle 1. I guess the next video will be the Lego one. So let's go ahead and go through them. So first off we had the Spiky Ball of Doom. Then we had the Toblerone Column. Then after that, we had the D8 of Destruction, we had the Pumpkin of Possibilities, and now we have this one, number five. Let's go ahead and open up number five, and let's see if we get today. And today, ooh, is it a D6? Oh, I think it's a D6. Oh, Lord, this one's big. Come here, you. Get out of here. Get out of there. The D6 did not want to go. It's a sinister D6. Oh, it's the D6 of salvation. Yes. All right. So let's roll it and see what we get. Oh, look at that. A six. That's amazing. Let's see. Oh, and another six. And, oh, crap. And I lost it. Oh, I'm nuts. Um, where'd you go? Where did you go? Um, let's see. Nope, nope. Not over there. Not over there. Where did you go? How did... Let's see. Ah, oh, there it is. Hiding behind Darth Vader. Okay. So Darth Vader was trying to hide the dice, and of course, now I understand it is a Sinister D6 because it was trying to hide. It, it sought Vader for, for help. Okay. So to start this off, we got to find our keystone, our little key part. And this one's actually pretty easy to find. There it is. You just have to feel around till you find a piece that's that is a little squishy, you know, a little loose piece. Because when this thing's engaged, when this thing's engaged, when this thing's engaged, come on, there it goes. Um, this puzzle is rock solid, so you just find the little bit that you have to push with your finger, and when you push it, everything comes apart. So we'll set that off to the side. Every one of these puzzles has had a keystone piece, and I appreciate that. I really like these puzzles; they're all really fun. So let's go ahead and. Take this guy apart and remove this piece here, one of the sides. Actually, it's only half of one of the sides, but it's also half of two of the other sides. This is weird. This is a fun puzzle. I like this one. Let's see. What else we got? And uh, something that I've mentioned a couple of times before, but I'll mention it again. These also double as Christmas ornaments. So let's... That makes it very happy oh oh that's neat okay so this piece is going to come in on the side like that all right and then this piece on the other side moves up and down okay well that's fun all right and then this piece here slides back and forth oh yeah it does look at that oh that's so neat okay Th these are these are really neat puzzles and whoever engineered them you know good job so let's go ahead and put this back together. How many pieces do we get here? We get one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Again, it, it's always going to be six pieces, apparently. That's what we get. We get six pieces. Okay, so now this piece, did I explain it coming in on the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this piece was a piece that I was talking about a minute ago coming into play. And of course, I got myself distracted, and there it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always getting myself distracted. <laughs> I'm forgetting how things fit together. That's typical behavior. All right, so this piece is going to slip into play there, right? No. No, you're not going to go there. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. That's not where you... That is kind of where you belong, but that's not where you belong. No, no, no. No, no. You're supposed to be on the side here coming up, aren't you? Because that piece is on the side, and that piece is on the top. So you have to do over here. Yeah. Come on now. Come on, you. Let's see. Uh-huh. There you go. Right there. Right? Right? Yeah? Is this, is this, is this where you live? Let's see. Mm, that piece is thin enough, but that's not right. Maybe that's right? No. Mm. I hope you <laughs> I know my view, the, these, uh, these advent calendar videos haven't been getting the greatest views, and uh, that's a bit on the, the sad part, because I think these are a lot of fun, and I absolutely enjoy puzzles like this, even whenever they can be a little bit annoying and hard to figure out. 
because you get distracted and you lose a spot. But it's okay. We gotta we can feel around and we can find out how this guy's going to fit together. Because that's how this works. So and I believe it's going to fit together right there. There. It just feels like it's it's right, but not quite right. And oh. Experiencing a little deja vu. That's weird. Okay, so let's go ahead and maybe this piece is supposed to go. Wait, wait. Maybe you're supposed to fit in like that. Huh? huh? Is that how you're supposed to be? Is that how you're supposed to be? No. Oop. Maybe. Hmm. No, that doesn't feel right. No. Something that I've discovered with these puzzles, sometimes it's important to just try and put on another piece, and maybe that piece will illuminate something that you're missing with the other pieces. So if we apply the, uh, the this this piece here, that's supposed to be, I think, on the, on the top, and then we're going to see that there's a cut there, and does that fit in that cut there? No, it does not. Um, maybe you're supposed to go on this side? Like that? Hmm. Well, that actually fits a little better, but it doesn't fit right yet. Uh-huh. Not quite correct. Not quite correct at all. I could have sworn this was a side piece. Oh, yeah, it totally is a side piece. That fits that fits very well right there. Okay, now now why aren't you clicking into place? Let's discover what's missing. Because that is the funness of puzzles. We can take and do deductive reasoning here and determine that this piece was supposed to go through and yeah look at that all right so i think that's supposed to be the locking area and that means that this piece is supposed to come in and give us something on the side to connect to that piece there it's a okay so there we go no no you can't be a bottom, and you can't be a top, but you can be a side. I, well, I think you can be a side. Let's see. All right, so we're going to slide you down over there. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, we're going to accidentally take apart the wrong bits. Let's go ahead and set you down over here, put you back in here, okay? And then you're going to slide there right? That feels not right. That doesn't feel right. Hmm. Are you going to slide there? No. Are you going to be the one that connects to the side over there? It feels like it's almost right. Actually, that's the most right feeling spot so far, but there's that cut over there. And I wonder, is anything going to replace that piece? Let's see. Let's look around at the other pieces and let's determine. No, no cut there. So that's not going to work. That's the keystone. And then you, here, don't have a cut on you either. So, wait, there is that bit there, but that's not going to, that's not going to work with this piece. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. So, we've got this piece that comes down, but it's not, it's not quite right because of that little cut on the side. we got to figure out where that cut goes that's our hint that is our hint right there so if we can figure out how to get that cut piece and that, that feels like it's almost right but that's not right and over here we've got nothing that will allow that cut piece because this cut piece is a it's got sides on it hmm wait wait what about here what about here will you fit into that spot I think it will. I think it will. So, let's see. We slide it over here. No. Wait, wait. I don't know if we bring it around like that. That got it? Does that get it? No, but that is close. That's the closest I've gotten so far. Uh-huh. And what about at the bottom? Will you fit at the... Are you, are you a bottom piece? No, it doesn't feel like you're a bottom piece. Huh. All right, let's see. This piece will totally work somewhere. 
we can get this to figure out. Okay, so that's the best spot I found for it so far, but there's still these cuts that don't make any sense. But maybe if we put this piece on the side, the cuts will uh, will make more sense. No, no, they don't. They don't make any sense at all. There's there's just those slices. What about another piece? Uh, this piece, which is supposed to be able to fit, you know. Let's see. Let's see. We're just we're just gonna remove this piece here, and we're gonna do what we did with the D8 because that really helped me out. Whenever I I was playing with the D8, I put everything together except for that one piece that was missing, and doing that allowed me to figure out exactly how that one piece is missing. So that one piece here would be, oh, that's, that's quite, uh, that's, that, that's quite interesting. Those aren't right, I don't think, unless, unless you're supposed to fit into this little weird spot here. Am I missing a piece? No, I'm not. I'm not missing a piece. I'm not missing a piece at all. It's just that, I'm not understanding this piece. So... If you are supposed to go, oh, wait, 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 wait. So what if this piece is supposed to go there? <gasps> it is! Ah, I figured it out. Okay, so this is why we, do, we, we just skip a step sometimes so that we can reassemble things and then disassemble things and then reassemble things and disassemble things until we get it right. Deduction. Everything will eventually work. So if we could just get this stuff to slide into place. There we go. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Now this piece will come down from the top. There we are. And finally, we've got that. Oh, wow. That one took a little extra longer than normal to do. And there is the, let's find the cut for the, um, because sometimes those little things are in odd places. Let's see. And I guess I'll have to find it later. To get somebody, uh, it feels like that may be the spot. So there is two holes cut into this guy somewhere that you can put a. Uh, I've been using paper clips and sliding them in and tightening them down to make little clips. But thank you for watching and thank you again, Dr. Helga Craft, for this wonderful Christmas present. Um, well, tune in next time. We'll cover day number six. Bye bye for now.